So today I got another package in the mail, and with this, I'm going to be able to tell you who I'm running the marathon for. I know what the package is. It's from my in-laws. And um, I don't know if I, you know, I remember talking about it um, like the week my wife was gone. I don't know if it actually made it into the one of the vlogs that week or not. But I had been talking about, sorry, they, um, my mother-in-law like super, or maybe it was my father-in-law, super taped this thing shut. And normally I just open stuff with my keys, but I'm gonna have to get a knife. Okay. So what's in here is some running clothes. So I'd mentioned in that video that I'd forgotten some running clothes uh, the last time I was up at my in-laws. And uh, they finally sent it back to me. And I really needed the shirt for the marathon this weekend because the shirt is for the charity that I'm running for. And the charity that I'm running for is uh, Salute Inc. And they are a nonprofit based here in Illinois. And um, their mission is to provide financial support uh, for uh, veterans as they uh, transition from their military life back to civilian life, focusing primarily on post 9-11 military veterans. Um, so this is the shirt uh, that I'll be, I, I don't know that I'm going to run with this shirt throughout the marathon, um, just because there's so much of this paint painted material on the front as they sweat, it gets a little bit uncomfortable um, but this is the shirt that you know I'll be warming up in this shirt um, this is the back that says one goal one team uh, for the Chicago Marathon uh, and uh, for their military families and so uh, and they also have a Blackhawks because the Blackhawks are also uh, affiliated uh, at least in the mission uh, for what team uh, Salute Inc. does so glad to finally have this shirt uh, back. I'm also glad to have uh, these pants back because um, uh, otherwise I would have to do laundry tonight because I'm going on a run tomorrow so I needed the shorts. So thanks to my mother and father-in-law. Um, but I also wanted to take the time to kind of talk about um, uh, this charity. Uh, I originally met uh, people with this charity when my buddy and I did the um, Soldier Field 10 Mile this year. Uh, the Soldier Field 10 Mile run is one that means uh, a lot to me. Uh, I've run it only two times, but um, the first time I ran it was last year. Uh, and that's that's the race that kind of started off this whole uh, kind of like running kick for uh, my buddy and I. It was maybe like late March or April of 2016 uh, when he was like, hey, I'm going to go do this race. And... Um, why don't you do it with me? And so I was, I think I had maybe started running a little bit um, at that point, uh, but I hadn't been really running that that regularly at all. Uh, but I decided, you know what, we'll, we'll try the run. Uh, we'll try the race. We'll see how it goes. We ended up running it. We ended up having a really good time. Uh, he beat me by several, several minutes. I mean, I remember the finish. Um, he finished way ahead of me. He had enough time to finish go to his car because he, he didn't run with his phone on that race so he finished the race walked from soldier field the finish line which was on the field walked to his car and then come back and then he met me when i came across the finish line um, since then we've both been running uh, pretty regularly um, both apart and together in a lot of races um, we ran the soldier field 10 mile again this year uh, that race it always happens on memorial day uh, at Soldier Field, because there's that military connection, Memorial Day. Uh, for those of you who are watching not in the U.S., Memorial Day is a holiday uh, in the U.S. that uh, celebrates and commemorates uh, those uh, who have died uh, in military service um, or uh, those who are in the military who have, who have passed. And so that's what Memorial Day is uh, here in the United States. And that race was at Soldier Field, uh, Soldier Field. Uh, being where the Chicago Bears play uh, in Chicago, uh, but that 
that stadium is also uh, dedicated to specifically World War II veterans. And so there's kind of like the, the honoring and remembrance of those who have uh, served to protect this country. And so I've enjoyed that, that race um, and uh, that meant a lot to me. And so then to kind of be at the race, having finished it in 2017 and talk to some of the people that had a tent there um, and they were looking for people to run uh, with them on a charity bib. And so my buddy and I, we signed up and uh, agreed to help raise money for them and get, help raise awareness. I did not do such a good job on the raising awareness part. Uh, and to be honest, I did not do such a great job on the raising money part uh, either. But um, I did make a financial uh, commitment, whether it's money raised or otherwise, that we would help this uh, charity out. I have not had the pleasure of serving in the military. Um, but there are many people in my family and other friends, uh, people that I've worked with, people that I have hired at my company uh, that have or are currently serving in the military. And so um, these kinds of charities, the ones that kind of help people who give up so much to go uh, and put their own lives uh, at risk to uh, help defend the things that we stand for, um, I think that uh, doing something like this is the least of what, li it's literally some of the least of what I can do um, to kind of uh, give uh, my thanks and show my appreciate appreciation for what's uh, for what they've done. So you might recognize this shirt. I've worn it one other time. Uh, I wore it um, when I did that last drone run when I was uh, back in Iowa. It was the one where uh, I tried to run 20 miles and I, and I just couldn't get it done that day. I had my running pack on for most of it so you couldn't really see it. And um, you know that was a day I was really gonna originally planning on kind of telling you uh, you know who I was running the race for. Um, but that day just just took a, a downhill turn um, and not in a good way. Uh, so that video ended up being just completely different than I had originally anticipated. With just four days to the marathon, I wanted to make sure that uh, you guys knew the whole story uh, of not only why am I running a marathon, but you know who am I, who am I running it for. So um, four more days, one more run uh, until the marathon, and um, yeah, I think I'm ready.